Hello, my name is Keiko. Today I'm going to show you how to make toilet sheet cupboard. I hope you enjoy it. I am living in Texas and I am enjoying this toilet sheet cupboard. And I have plenty. And I also make this and use for the Christmas present or the birthday present, stuff like that. And people just love it. I just made uh, this uh, Disney characters, the toilet sheet for my granddaughter. I use a fleece for making my toilet sheet cover because it's stretchable and it doesn't shrink and uh, it just stay uh, pretty. I normally buy uh, one and a half yard of uh, fleece and that is enough to make uh, two sets of uh, covers, uh, you know, toilet sheet covers and uh, lid covers. And uh, if I fold it this way, I can get the one set from left side and uh, the other set from uh, right side. I fold the uh, material this way and uh, I cut away these white areas from material and just throw it away. Here you can see those, uh, the fleece fold all the way in and uh, those white line was already removed. This brown thing is just pattern I made for my toilet sheet cover. And uh, you're looking at the uh, lid cover uh, pattern. And next pattern is for toilet sheet cover. You can see on the other side, I already used the pattern to cut the material off. And once the pattern is cut, I normally pin it all the way around. And uh, I use a seam about a three quarter inch. It should be enough to put those uh, tubing and uh, elastics, so three fourths is enough, I think. That is a measurement of the the covers. That's the main cover, the toilet sheets covers, which is diameter is a uh, twenty six inches, and uh, the right side, which is a toilet lid cover. Diameter is 19 inches. This is a tab to secure toilet sheet covers. The measurement is 19 by 4 inches. And you're looking for the already cut it uh, material. And the measurement there is 8 inches. Center is 10 inches. And both sides is 8 inches. That makes 26 inches. And the uh, lid covers is diameters as 19 inches. And that's a tab. And it's folded in half. It's, that's how it, cut, it was cut. It. It's a 19 by 4, but the fleece was folded in half. So that should be uh, the 9, nine 1⁄2 by 4. You need to make uh, your own tubing, and uh, you need to cut smaller tube to 35 inch long, and uh, next size tubing you need inch and a half. And uh, what you do is uh, you glue those small tubing all the way, not all the way, halfway, and uh, you super glue it and the uh, other half should be open. So the other end of small loop tubing should go and fit in there, as this picture is showing.
You can buy this tubing from Home Depot. And、uh, this left one is a、uh, small tubing, it's a red, red sign on it. It's around $570. And the large tubing is also $5 something, a little cheaper than、uh, this smaller one. And smaller one is harder, and you need a harder one for the main tubing. And、uh, larger tubing it can be softer, it doesn't matter. All they do is、uh, hold the tubing、uh, together, that's all. So I measured it、uh, with this small tubing, the one roll, you can make eight、uh, loops. And、uh, those、uh, bigger tubing, inch and a half, I don't know how many you can get it. Now it's ready to sew. I use three quarter seam. You have to have enough、uh, space for、uh, tubing and、uh, elastic. And tubing goes inside of、uh, the circle, and the elastic goes outside. 27 inches of elastic goes outside of the cover. And 23 inches of elastic goes outside of a lid cover.、Uh, once、uh, you finish sewing, you need to uh, place uh, elastic in there. And that's how I do. I use a、uh, safety pin. And、uh, I'll let them go through it. And once you uh, sew uh, elastic together, you can、uh, sew it up an opening of the cover because、uh, it's more like a permanent. Once you finish making tab, Uh, you need to put、uh, Velcro on it, and Velcro should be on where you can make a loop like that. If it's possible, you should buy soft Velcro. If you have a glue on or a hard Velcro, it's so hard to、uh, sew with a home sewing machine. This is、uh, your sewing tab on the toilet seat cover. And、uh, you are sewing on the same, same line where you had a seam on it. And this is the elastic side. And、uh, make sure, like, an inch and a half of tab is sticking out. And make sure that the、uh, Velcro is facing down. And、uh, Velcro should be facing up on tubing side. And you may want to sew it twice, you know, back and forth, so that the tab will not come off. Now you can insert tubing in a circle of the toilet sheet cover. Make sure the tubing the, is closed, you know, meet both ends. And those harder, smaller tubing s should go inside of the one size larger tubing so that it makes perfect circle. I made a toilet seat cover for round, but this same size of toilet seat cover will fit for elongate. s It just fits tighter, but nothing wrong with that. 
I hope you really uh, try to make this uh, toilet sheet cover. I, I really think you will like it. Now we are going to uh, put lid cover on it and if a design or writing on the lid cover make sure it's showing right way and my lid cover has uh, writing on it so I made sure to fix it so that I can read it and now we are going to uh, install toilet sheet cover and uh, the seam side is up and uh, you can see it now before you install toilet sheet cover you want to close velcro now so the the cover will not get wet while you try to install it Make sure seam side is up and try to put a lid on your stomach so that you have both hands available to cover the sheet. And make sure that tab is in center and away from you. And once tab is centered and you undo Velcro and uh, one end of a Velcro you push in and you pull out from the bottom and uh, close the Velcro and even out the fold because it really uh, some area is really wrinkled Shape it nicely. Now it's all done. How was my video? If you liked it, please thumb up and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.